Ever wonder what made Viking warriors so feared on the battlefield? Well, it wasn't just their fighting spirit. For some lucky few, it was their weapon, the legendary Ulfberth sword. Picture this, it's the Viking age around the 9th to 11th centuries. While most swords of the era were brittle and prone to shattering, a select few carried blades that were mysteriously strong, flexible, and razor sharp. These weren't just ordinary swords, they were technological marvels, centuries ahead of their time. So, what was their secret? Inscribed on these elite blades was a single name, plus V. This wasn't just a maker's mark, it was a symbol of unparalleled quality. Archaeologists and metallurgists were baffled for years. How could swords from over a thousand years ago be so advanced? The answer lies in the steel itself. Ulfberth swords were forged from something called crucible steel. This process involved melting iron ore in a sealed container, or crucible, at incredibly high temperatures we're talking over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This intense heat burned away impurities known as slag, leaving behind a nearly pure high-carbon steel. This ultra-clean steel gave the swords a perfect balance of hardness and flexibility. They could bend without breaking and hold a wicked edge that could slice through lesser armor. To put it in perspective, this kind of metal-making technology wasn't seen widely in Europe again until the Industrial Revolution, nearly 800 years later. This has led to all sorts of theories. Were these swords made with steel imported from the Middle East or Central Asia, where crucible steel techniques were more known? Or did a secretive group of European smiths guard a revolutionary forging process? While around 170 of these swords have been found, from Ireland to Russia, very few were the real deal. Many were knockoffs, attempts by less skilled smiths to cash in on the famous name. The genuine Ulfberths were the supercars of their time rare, expensive, and a status symbol for the most powerful Viking chieftains and warriors. They represent a fascinating mystery, a piece of ancient technology that defies its time. These blades aren't just artifacts. They're a testament to the lost arts of master craftsmen who created a weapon that would become a legend. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this dive into Viking history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more stories from the past. See you next time.